Hello, babies. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? My name is Siren Red, and you're watching Siren Red Tarot. And today I'm coming back with another pick a card reading. So today's pick a card reading is going to be what makes you lit. I don't know. Makes you lit. No, I wasn't saying I don't know the y'all. I was talking to yo. It'd be crazy because I like being a spiritualist or um. I was really, I be really talking to myself. Y'all, sorry. Yeah, this earlier I had really like snapped on my post and i know y'all like probably like what why is she acting like this because my thing is i am so tired like i don't know what it is i like shorts and i get that some of y'all like the shorts and stuff like that and i like them too and i think you can find some inf interesting information out and i also think they pretty funny sometimes but for some reason the 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 uh the shorts bring so many trolls like i don't know what it is about shorts because i don't get that many like all my actual videos i rarely if ever get a comment of somebody saying some crazy stuff but trolls be on the shorts and it's like and my thing is if you don't agree with witchcraft or spirituality or tarot reading or whatever just go to a just move along like i don't understand why people feel the need to comment on other people practices and religions like i just don't get it like you get what i'm saying like i don't understand why are you like if it's something that you don't believe in why are you commenting Oh, y'all going to hell. This is demonic. But it's like literally, and some witchcraft is demonic. But just like with Christianity, some Christianity practices are demonic. You get what I'm saying? You have bad Christians and you have good Christians. You have good Muslims and you have bad Muslims. Like in every religion, there's always a good or bad. You get what I'm saying? And that's what people fail to realize. Like the same way those, there are those Christians who, who actually go to... um unfortunate like neighborhoods and like feed people and give out clothes and and food and churches that actually have like food drives and stuff there are also christians that start cults and do have be doing underage marriages and basically having slave labor like you know we all know what cults are you know what i'm saying like so it's like it's the same thing but y'all but it's like some people use it um in in a godly way and some people use their religion in a satanic way you get what i'm saying but that's what I'm like. So that's what I'm saying, and I don't get. I don't get why people don't realize that. So the same way is bad witches that work with demons and stuff like that. There are good witches who work with angels and do light work and have morals. So I I just don't understand. Like you get what I'm saying? Like it be, and it be it be weird because it be videos of people talking about crystals. Like yeah, I use this crystal for this or this is how I charge my crystals. And somebody will be in the comments like, oh, that's demonic. What like she's freaking um charging her rose quartz, which is a, a um a crystal that helps your heart shock or helps heal your heart shock or what are you talking about? Like you guys, it's like you don't even know what you're talking about. So I I feel I seen that post today where I um blew up, but I cause I can't let that shit slide. Like I'm so tired, I'm so tired of letting that shit slide. Like I'm so tired of letting that shit slide, and I know it might be a bit much. But I'm just tired. I'm so tired of letting shit slide, man. I'm so tired of letting shit slide. Because they don't let shit slide when I post it. So, I don't know. Hopefully, y'all ain't judging me for that post. Y'all wasn't like, girl, why is you? But, like, that's why. Because motherfuckers was getting on my nerves earlier. And I had to cuss him out. And I was saying, like, uh, I guess the person had got mad because I was calling him a Nazi. But that's the, that's literally what a Nazi did. That's literally what the Nazis did. They killed hundreds of people. Well, not even hundreds. Millions of people because they had a different religion. <laughs> that's literally because I was, I, was, I was comparing him. The guy was arguing with the other. I was comparing him to the, um, to the Salem witch trials. The Salem witch trials people in the uh, Nazis, and I was like, he's like, why are you calling me names? I'm like, I'm not calling you names per se, but you're literally the same thing. Like, <laughs> you're literally the same thing. You're on here telling these people what to do and not to do over over something else that's a different religion. Like, that's literally what a Nazi does. That's literally what, um, it's literally what a Nazi does. They spread hate um, about people who do things that are different, have different religions about them. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm not calling you, I'm not nece necessarily calling you a name, but that's literally what you are, but you're not thinking of it of that way because you're not, because you, because whoever raised you on your religion does not, did not, not 
um iterate to you that it's okay for other people to have a uh, different religion. It's fine. And I don't know what it is. And even with Buddhism, a lot of people be saying that about Buddhism too. But Buddhism is about peace. And it's like you still say, like I, I've been saying, like Christians say, like, oh, I don't, I don't, I don't partake in all that. And partake in what? Peace. <laughs> Their religion is peace. Like none of and none, nobody's saying they hate God. <laughs> nobody's saying they hate Jesus, but like I, I don't get it. But teach is on. Anywho, let's go ahead and start with make sure that we have number one. You know I got a vent before I um get my stuff together. Ooh, my back is killing me. I'm such a old lady. What makes pile number? Oh, number one. All right, so let's start with the three cards on top. So you have the two of candles, the 12 of presents, and the three of needles. So overall energy is what makes you lit is like you're like a road opener for people. So I feel like, all right, so I feel like you guys definitely broke, break or broke, um, generational curses in your family so it's like if everybody got pregnant uh at a young age like you didn't if if nobody graduated high school you didn't if nobody went to college oh oh if nobody got uh if everybody got pregnant at age, you didn't if every if nobody finished college you did if nobody finished high school you did like it's like whatever everyone else didn't do that was quote unquote bad not to say because i'm not to downplay your your um your accomplishments but i just don't want people to feel like i'm saying oh if you don't go to college it's bad or if you do go to you know i'm not saying that but i'm saying it's like whatever was thought to be impossible in your family or whatever toxic trait your family had a history of, you definitely broke that, right? But what's interesting about that is even though, what's interesting about that is even though you did break these uh, toxic cycles and stuff like that, most of the time, a lot of people, when they do break like toxic cycles or they start to get a little bit more money um, then the folks in their family, what the first thing they do is they leave their family behind and they try to act like they never came from whatever they came from, right? 
but what's different about you and what's interesting and what i actually truly admire is that you actually break bread you actually break bread so and it's not just breaking bread as a sense of oh you buying everybody something or something like that it's not in the, it's not just the sense of that but it's also um it's also the sense of whatever knowledge that you went and got somewhere you came and brought it back it's kind of like okay i'm going to I'm going to take, I'm going to take the hit. Like, so I'm going to go to college and I'm going to learn how to do this and do that. Or I'm going to go take these courses and learn how to open this business. Or I'm going to go learn how the proper way to um, protect yourself. Uh, comp, comp, um, not compensation. What's it called? Compsorception? Compensation? Yeah, I don't know how to talk, but um, whatever. I'm going to figure out a better way to like take care of my body. Because everybody in my family obese and everybody in my um, family has diabetes. Whatever it was, you went, you go and you got the knowledge and you got the, you got the knowledge, you got the wherewithal, you got the connections, whatever your family needed, you went and got, but you actually brought it back. Like you didn't just desert everyone, right? You didn't just desert everyone. Um, you are, you operate from a heart space. This is because you operate from a heart space. A lot of us operate from lack. A lot of us operate from survival. You operate from a heart space. So you are the type of person that believes it's enough to go around. It's enough for everyone to be doing good. It's enough for everyone to get what they want. It's enough for, it's enough for everyone. Like your mindset is there that it's enough for everyone. So that's why it's easy for you to get back. That's why it's enough for you to give back, which I truly actually um, admire. So let's see what makes my palm number ones lit. You guys have a lot of nice ideas. Like you guys, you guys are problem solvers. I think a lot of people in the family, when they're going through something, they either call you, they either call you, text you, sometimes somehow reach out to you, sometimes somehow contact you to in order for them to solve their problem because you always have you're so like with this with this bat or whatever having a big hit like you oh, you're so smart and you always have great ideas like you'll be the one to be like okay they'll come to you like oh this is the problem and you'll be like okay this is what we should do about it. this is how we should solve it this is how we should fix it you guys are great thinkers you're great thinkers they're great thinkers it's like you're always thinking about something and you have patience like you can think your way through anything you guys are always enthusiastic about whatever you're doing. So you guys are very charming. You can have like Leo in your placement. You can have Leo in your placement. You can have Sagittarius in your placement. You can have Virgo in your placement. You could have, I want to say Capricorn in your placement because Capricorns are very um, work oriented, but they're not very like, they're not like always super excited. They're more so workers, but they're not like going to get excited about whatever the fuck they're doing. They're just doing it because it's money. Whereas like a fire sign would be more pa passionate about whatever it is, whatever it is they got on, they tend to be more passionate. That's why I say you might have Capricorn and fire in your chart, which brings out the passion. Um, then you have um, whatever of candles this is, because y'all know I can't read Roman numerals. But basically what this card is telling me is that once you get an idea, it's like you kind of spark the creativity and ideas and others. So you're like, okay, we're going to do this. And then everyone else is getting excited. And everybody's like, yeah, that's a good idea. Like, okay, we have a neighborhood and everyone's grass is like, everyone has a lawn in our neighborhood and nobody's cutting the grass. Why don't we start our own gra uh, grass cut cutting company or whatever? And we can do that. And that's how we can pay our uh, mortgage to be here. And everybody's like, yeah, that's a great idea. Your whole house is like, that's a great idea. Next thing you know, you have a full on six figure um landscaping business because you started in your neighborhood and then you branched out to the neighborhoods around you and, and so on and so forth so it's like you kind of get the passion started people see you as being like very uh like a boss like people look up to you people look up to you like some type of star like i'm here um but just got on my phone like a pop star I, I don't know how it goes but like i feel like that like but i just feel like because you just you just rock like you just rock at whatever you do People tend to follow you. You're a great leader. So people, uh, what makes you lit is you're a great leader and people like following after you because they know you're a great leader. 
Also, what makes you lit is that you're a hard worker. So you're you're the type to. I heard this quote one time. I forget who who where I heard it from, but the quote basically was like, "I go to sleep when it when I'm done, not when I'm tired." You know what I'm saying? That's I feel like that's kind of how you guys operate. Like you'll go to sleep when everything is is said and done, when everything is good, not when you're tired. Then last, your last card out is the higher font. So it's like, what makes you lit is the fact that even when things don't work out, like you're not afraid to be like, okay, guys, things didn't work out, or this is not working out the right way that I thought it was, or I was wrong about this. Like you don't try to like, like some people have the ego. So it's like when they're wrong about something or something didn't go their way, they tend to, um, they tend to want to try to hide it. They, they tend to want to try to hide it because they want to they don't want to look like they were wrong at something and they want they want things to be perfect but you understand that everything is not going to be perfect everything's not going to be perfect and that's okay Everything is not going to be perfect, and that's okay with you. So, overall, what I can see for you, power number one, is that you're a great leader. You're going to lead, if you haven't already, you're going to lead your friends and family into a better life. You're going to lead your friends and family into a life of success. You're going to lead everyone around you into more success. Okay? But yeah, so that is what I see for my pile number ones. I hope it resonates. If it did, please let me know. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. If you're interested in a personal reading, that information in the description box below. If you're interested in my free reading giveaway, all you have to do is leave a red heart in the comment section below. And with that being said, I'm going to move on to my next pile. Oh yeah, don't forget to join my Patreon for $3.99 a month. You can see all my Freaky Fridays that I post every single Friday, all my nasty adult readings. There should be like one or two up there now because I did have um I did have to delete my channel, which made me mad. <laughs> I had to what well, they I didn't have to I didn't have to delete my channel. They deleted my channel, but that's cool. That's cool. Because I just started another one. But right now, just know that that's gonna be it's gonna keep on being um Freaky Friday, so don't you guys worry about that. It's going to build back up soon. All right, but we're going to go on to my next pile. What makes my pile number twos lit? What makes my pile number twos lit? What makes my pile number twos lit? What makes my pile number two lit? What makes my 
What makes my pile number two split? So your first card out is the Page of Cups. Then you have the Two of Wands. You have the Nine of Cups. You have the Nine of Cups. And then you have the Five of Wands. So what makes my pile number two split? For me, 